Okay, so uh, now I want you to think about how you do your counting and what, what matters, what doesn't. So say you have three prizes in a raffle and 100 people have one ticket. Okay. What's the probability that Alice, Ben, and Chris win first, second, and third prize? Now I've told you here at the beginning, um, note that order matters because I'm assigning the prize to each person. right? But it's a good question here to compare part A and part B to see which, uh, if you could figure that out on your own. In part B, you take the same three people, but we just want to know that they win three prizes. So it doesn't matter what order they were in, first, second, or third. Okay, so see if you can count these. One is when the order mattered, and one is when the order didn't. And uh, we'll talk some strategy. Okay, so in this first instance, when we want first, second, and third prize assigned, Okay, how many ways is there for Alice to win first, Ben to win second, and Chris to win third? There's only one. So if you think about it as a counting question, there's my three prizes. There's only one Alice, one Ben, and one Chris. So there's only one way to do this. Okay, how many different ways can we finish, uh, or sorry, can we win the prizes first, second, and third? Very close. Yeah, it's actually a, a permutation because the order of those things matter, right? It is not just the top three pre uh, places. It is the way the top three are ordered that matter. Okay. So uh, that means we have, let's see here, 1 over 100 P3. So it's fairly small. The probability is 1.031 times 10 to the negative 6. Um, if you don't see this way, right, jumping into the permutations, the other way you could think about it is you've got three prizes. A hundred people could win the first one, 99, then 98. That's the same thing as this permutation here, right? Okay. So then the second one in part B, okay, we just want them to win three prizes. We don't care what the order uh, of the winners are. We just want them to win three prizes. So anybody come up with any strategy or way to count these? Pardon me? 6 over 10 P3. So there's one way we can count this problem. So Ryan says it's 6 over 10 P3. 100 P3, yeah, you're correct. So here's one way they could finish. There's, we don't, we're just making a group, right? We don't care um, who the order that joined the group, but there's three people, Alice, Ben, and Chris. So there's three choices for the first person, then two choices, then one choice. That's how many different ways they could be involved in the top three prizes. Okay, the top three prizes would be 100 P3. The other way we could count this problem out is we could say, if order doesn't matter, how many groups does Alice, Ben, and Chris represent? One group. And if order doesn't matter in the prize, then that's how many groups of top three finishers we could have. So both of these will have the same answer. Either is going to give it to you. And let's see here. So this one is... Uh, 6.184 times 10 to the negative 6. So it's still pretty small, but it's about six times greater than when you, uh, actually it's probably exactly six times greater than when you uh, care about the order. Sure. Okay, so lottery time. I think it's called Lotto Max now. I don't think it's BC49 anymore. But uh, six numbered balls from uh, 1 to 49 are randomly selected without replacement. Um, you select six numbers. Determine the probability that you win, right? And just like the commercial says, hey, you never know, right? Well, let's figure out just how rare it is if you're going to win. Um, and then the second one is an interesting idea, too. Um, because if all tickets with at least three numbers win a prize, then what's the probability that you'll win something? Okay, so why don't we count the first one together? Um, the first one should be pretty simple. Okay. So if I have 49 numbers, 
Order doesn't matter. You just have to pick the right three numbers. So 49, choose 6. That's how many different lottery tickets are out there. Okay, what's the probability? Um, well, I shouldn't say what's the probability yet. How many ways can you get your ticket? One. It's your ticket. The one that you're holding in your hand, that's it. So that's the odds that your one ticket out of the 49 choose 6 is the winner. So, let's see here. What's that? So the odds are, uh, you know, we've talked about this question before. They're not very high that you're going to win this question. Okay? But, you know, every, hey, let's see here. Show of hands, who knows somebody who's gotten at least their 3 out of 10 numbers? They've won something on the lottery. Something. Really? Just three of us? Four of us? Five, maybe? Something? And, well... Six, well, sure, and, and well, it doesn't really count if it's any lottery, but if you know 649, because that's our question, right? Like, my parents have won three out of t uh, six numbers, but okay. I thought it would be higher. What is three out of six given? Uh, I think it's 10 bucks or a free play. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> so, how do we count this up? Okay, there's still this many tickets, so we know this is going to be the denominator. The number of tickets doesn't change. But how many ways are they going to have to pay out? For example, how many ways are there to win um, if it's three numbers? How many tickets with three numbers will win? So there's 6C3. Why did you say 6C3? Exactly. Six winning numbers, you have to pick three of them. But that's not my entire lotto ticket, right? I still have three numbers that I haven't used here. So don't pick from the winners, otherwise you're, you're going to add to this person's winnings. So there's 43 numbers left over. Pick three more for them to uh, fill their ticket up with. Okay? If we continue this way, six numbers, choose four. This is a ticket that wins with four numbers. That means there's still 43, choose two for the remaining numbers. And if I finish this, 6 choose 5 times 43, choose 1, and 6 choose 6, and we don't want any of the 43. <coughs> so those would be all possible winners. Okay, so let's calculate. Okay, so when I uh, work this out in the calculator, I end up with the top of the fraction is, there's quite a few tickets that win something. So I ended up with 0 0.0186, let's say 4. We'll round it to there. So it's about 1.9% uh, that you win something. So that's why I figured more people in here in the lifetime would have known somebody that's won, but I guess our lottery is not very good. So, uh, you know, this is what fuels the gambling fever, right? When 2% of people win and you hear people, oh, I almost won, I almost won, right? I had three numbers, all I needed was six. It's still, you're way off. If you got three numbers, you're way off compared to six. But this is what keeps people coming back, right? If the, if the chances of you winning anything was like, uh, you know, a million to one, no one would play because no one would hear from any of their friends or themselves winning. It would be so rare. So 2% compared to 7.51 times 10 to the negative 8, that's what fuels the fever. So here's a question for you. Um, how do the odds of being Delta Royal Flush compare to winning the 649? Okay. So here's winning the 649, right? That's pretty bad, and everybody seems to go, oh, yeah, that's terrible, and they shake their head and say, yeah, that's, that's a waste of money. But, uh, you know, how do you explain to someone just how bad the odds are? Well, here's a Royal Flush, right? If you compare this with 7.5 times 10 to the negative 8, well, that's an order of 100 to get from there to there, and that's an order of, let's say, 5 gets you to there. So it's about 500 times more likely that you'll walk into the casino, the dealer will put five cards in front of you, and you'll end up with a royal flush than to walk home with the winning 649 ticket. right? If you ask somebody, well, what do you think the odds are of walking in the casino and being dealt the perfect hand, right? a royal flush, most people would say, oh, it'll never happen to you. 
but yet they'll all think that that winning lottery ticket is theirs. They'll go home thinking and dreaming about the million dollars.